Hi, I'm Dan, a broker living in the East. In this series, we show you the best of what this place has to offer. Join us as we eat, play, and explore Rizal. Welcome to Mora's! And with us today is Adrian, one yes. of the owners and also the contractor of this place. Yeah, owner contractor. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, first question is, um, what made you guys open during the pandemic? We have a friend who mentioned to me that they own this house in Antipolo. Na binabantayan lang. She asked me, Oy, why don't we go out sa, no, sa Antipolo and take a look at the house, see what you can do. Oh, sure, sure, why not? So, so when I came here, I said, oh, wow. <laughs> Very little na improve it kalam kasi the place itself is nice, so it needs uh, a little tweaking, diba? To make it to make the house into a restaurant. Actually, ano eh, when we first came here, ang tawag pala is really White House. The locals know this as White House. So it's a good thing kasi before when I came here, ano kaya? Talta ko yano. Talta ko yung colors no, yung colors. Then one of the bloggers posted a picture and drawn saying, oh my god, it looks nice. It mixes well with the uh, green. No? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It stands out there eh, actually mm -hmm. when you come here, and it blends well with the sunset. Yeah, it's magnificent. Then sa loob, well, we decided to open up the space, so we replacing sliding door with a bi folding door. Mm, yes. Then, in their uh, outdoor kind of style. Huh? Yeah. So, kahit nasa loob ka, you feel like you're in the outside mm -hmm. uh, to make it more spacious. Feeling talagang breeze ng, ano, ng uh, antipolo. Tapos, uh, what we did was put some murals to make this parang ano ba, art vibe. Mm -hmm. Something, no? Kasi yung all in it is leading to art. So, if you notice, marami siyang paintings dito. And then you mentioned also that this place used to be a religious uh, setting. You have a chapel under... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, we have a chapel. Every belief is welcome here. Then, uh, also arts. Patron of the arts din kami. So we try to mix all those things. How about the food? What was the idea for the food pala? Well, the food kasi sandoy. Eh. I'm an, ano eh, I'm an all, uh, all day breakfast guy. So I like waffle <laughs> food like uh, uh, waffles, pancakes, uh, top syrup, Filipino. Then, okay. Pagdating sa gabi, kasi you know, uh, all day breakfast is all, only good for I think mga four or five. No? But gabi, it's nice to have a parang to chill and relax here. So mm, we yes. started to dis to think of some menu that will okay pang bagay sa pika pika. Walang kaming particular ba label pagdating sa food. No, basa all I know is that you know, pag, I think sa morning if you want to have breakfast and coffee, you go to a place like this. Simple lang, like coffee and bread, and you feel great. It's very simple, but it fits the whole, ano, the whole ambience of the whole Antipolo lifestyle. So, how do you find the food? My favorite was the breakfast. I'm an all-day breakfast kind of person. I love having breakfast at lunch or at night. So this place is right up my alley. My favorite was the tapa and the bagnet bacon. It was super crunchy. I like how they put in some cheese sauce on top. And the brown rice is a healthier touch. For some people, they might appreciate that. And the tapa was more on the salty type of tapa. Some people like sweet tapa, but me, this was my kind of tapa. How about you? Me, uh, actually I like the, the pizza when we went here. I don't know, this place just makes me want to have something light so I can enjoy the view more. Mm. You know, that's just me. And uh, definitely the beer <laughs> ah, yeah. because this place is really uh, very relaxing, you know. Yep. Yeah, I agree yeah. with the beer. It's like a very chilly place to have, to have beer. And the good thing about it is that they have bar chow. So you have your breakfast, you have your all-day breakfast, and then you have your pizza and your pasta menu, and then you can have bar chow to complement your beer at night while you enjoy this amazing view. And what did you think about the place? How did you like the ambience, the design of the interiors? Well, what I like about this place is starting from entering the area from Marcos Highway. It's, it seems hidden, yeah. you don't know what's, what's there, and then as you go yeah. up, you get surprised, and then you see a place that has an unobstructed view of the city, which is located quite high, and it's, it's very uh, relaxing, you know, easygoing place, you, 
you can just come here in shorts, invite your friends, the people that are close to you, or even come here for work and maybe have a, a beer after with your buddies also. It's a good idea to come here at any time of the day. It's very surprising when you walk up into the facility because there's like a 180 degree view. It sits on the very top, it's a, on a perch, and and it's very airy. So if you're concerned about uh, having close quarters, especially now during the pandemic, uh, Mars is a good place to go to because all the windows are always open. There's so much air coming in and out. So we highly recommend coming here, whether you're with a small group or a big crowd with your family, for example, because everything, it, it, it feels very safe to be here. Actually, this is my new favorite place. And I would recommend that you guys come here maybe first thing in the morning for breakfast or personally my favorite, you come here before sunset, headed towards the evening, so you can have dinner towards drinks. Yeah, and enjoy the awesome city skyline. All right, so that's it for Mara's place. We really hope that you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to visit this place, here are the details for all the operating hours and etc. And that's everything for Mauras. If you'd like to know more about exciting places in Rizal, please do like and subscribe. And we will see you around. Goodbye.